Panya Mulling Show, and welcome to the Barn Burner TV Network on Zinco TV Channel 250. Please remember to download both the Barn Burner and Zinco TV apps in their respective app stores on iOS and Android devices. While well, you download, make sure to rate and leave a comment. Both apps are free. Linko, Zinco TV can also be available on Google Chromecast. Amazon Fire and Fire TV Sticks, Ruko and Ruko Sticks, and also on All Smart TVs 2016 and forward. Tonight, I have artist, singer, songwriter, producer, Hall of Fame, and Lifetime Achievement Award, my good friend, AJ Brown, is here. Welcome to the show, AJ. How are you doing? I am good. How are you doing, Tanya? I'm great. I was so looking forward to this interview. For real, I'm, I'm all decked out in my... My, my CC colors, you know, just representing, just like uh, your father used to. <laughs> yes, Cornwell College. I like how the glasses are matching. Everything look Chris. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, and we got to talk about those days, of course, Cornwall College days. You, of course, were born in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Tell me about Cornwall College days and also how you, the artist, as in the drawing and, and, and the graphics design and all that come together with the artist, the singer. Tell me about that. Well, um, well, well Cornwall College is one of the, 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 um, the places, the place for me to where I, I was, I was kind of nurtured uh, in terms of education and, and um, guidance. Um, Cornwall College is one of the, the premier um, high schools for, for boys in, in Montego Bay. And um, I was lucky enough to, to, um, to attend that, that school. And um, it was uh, five wonderful years. Um, while I was at Cornwall, that's when I, I, was, I was introduced to, to art. Um, God rest my, my, my artist, my teacher's soul, um, Mr. McLeod. And um, uh, I also, that's where I also honed in on my music career. So Conwell College has a very special place in, in the scheme of things, okay? Okay, so then when you say, okay, you went to Cornwall College, where does the Jamaica Arts and the, uh, the CTC come in? Well, um, uh, when I graduated from Cornwall, um, I did two years of um, national youth service okay. uh, at the, the, the St. James Parish Library. And while I was there, I wanted, I did, I, 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 I learned, I was doing what they called um, display art okay. for the different um, districts in St. James, the parish of St. James for the, the library. As you know, the, the, you know, libraries have different branches mm -hmm. and I would go out and do, do displays in different branches to, to um, you know, um, encourage the community to, to, uh, to, to come and read, you know, uh, get books yeah, and, and um, you know, learn things about, about different subjects. Um, and while I was there, doing my, my two my two year tenure i um i decided i was going to take this art thing a little further yeah and i applied to to the jamaica school of art and i was accepted um and um and that's where i i was able to to do four more years of 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 really um serious art and um, you know that that's a different story altogether. You know, um, <laughs> I, I I I would graduate from um, from from Jamaica School of Art in yeah. um, I, I think about eighty one or eighty two, um, okay. and that's um, while I was doing my performances on the coast. So um, each each um, discipline has helped to, to um, strengthen the other in, in some ways. You know? Yeah. 
Okay, so then you were you went off and you were accepted to the Pratt Institute in Brooklyn. Well, um, that's the, the Pratt, Pratt Institute is a is um is kind of a a, um, a footnote. <laughs> oh, yeah. I um, even though I was accepted to go, I never really went because I was offered a, um, a performance um contract yeah. yes in Las Vegas. that's why i said the pride is <laughs> right when you get and something so, fling at you you're like sitting there okay which way do i go now so <laughs> yeah you got offered so, to Vegas. yes and um and and the, the the good thing is um i was able to swing the contract to include um four years um four years at the university of nevada las vegas nice. and that's where i got my bachelor of arts in in art while i was performing at, at night you know i was going to school in the days so it you know i was on a mission you know yeah so so you're, i was able to, to to accomplish you know those two two missions so yeah. so you were get to basically live your dream and do both things you love yes um that the experience in Ve in vegas was the second time i was able to to um to go to school and to perform at the same time because um i did that while i was in in jamaica i was um going to school of art and performing on the coast yeah so, you were you know, at that time you were doing all the cabaret singing, right? All around the exactly coast. right, right. Yeah. So, so I was able to um to nurt to. That's why I said both both disciplines kind of worked with each other and nurtured each other. You know, so so that's um that's a good thing about what um about art and music. I mean, they're both two creative um, streams. Yeah. So you know. It, um, I am. I'm. I feel blessed that that I was given both talents, and I'm using it. Yeah, I'm using it. Mm -hmm. So while you were there in Vegas, I mean, you you left an impact there, clearly with a voice like yours. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you got an opportunity to do some really nice gigs down there. Like, talk about that. You got to sing well, Paul Anka's birthday party, like. Yes, um, you know, while I was there, I, I was I was invited by by the the CEO Steve Wynn to okay. um to to uh for with me and my band to perform for pa Paul Anka's birthday in Lake Tahoe, and okay. you know that was an, a really cool experience. Um, I was also invited to open the Tarzan's Lounge in 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 one of the mm -hmm. One of the casinos in in a place called Laughlin, where okay. um, in the state of Nevada, that um, the that the, the the Steve Wynn's conglomerate owned. So um, that's another experience. Then I was invited by by um, by um, heavyweight champion at the time, Razor Ruddock. Yeah. To to sing the national anthem at his um, heavyweight title fight uh, against Greg Page, so you know um, those those are those are just um, highlights of you know different experiences I, I had w while I was in Vegas. Wow! So while you were there, you got that opportunity, and where does the UNLU Bachelor in Arts um, Come UNLV. In. Yeah, where does that come in uh, at that well, time? Well, the, the UNLV. Here? Yeah, what what happened is um, what happened was um, I I went to Vegas, spent seven years, okay. and um, from eighty nine, from nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety six, I was in in Las Vegas, and I did four years. You know, while I was there at UNLV. Okay. Um, and um, I got a Bachelor of Arts in, in Fine Art. 
and you know so so I was able to use that to to um enhance my my portfolio yes of of of, of, of achievement yeah i so say it's that a, it's a, a great vibe after that uh, um what what happened is um i i used to also do um you know exhibitions um, yeah after that so so um it's 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 one of those things that that you you in 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 my it, growing up i i would see i would see ex, um examples of entertainers that did not um even though they were talented and they were they were doing well um for some reason they they um they they end up being a pauper you know being yeah. you know and and um i i said to myself that's not going to happen to me no you know? so so um that was the one reservation i always had with with being a, a singer or an entertainer you know is that um you put your all your eggs in one basket and and um it doesn't work out then you, you have know, what, what happened right yeah. at least well at least i have a, I, at least i have a little um, i have something else yeah well, the reason why i say that to talk about the u n l v was because of the fact that you said you were singing like pauline like at the birthday party and at the thing and you were doing all that i say that to show that you actually continued in the the art the drawing and complete it with you know bachelors so that's of good course that you kept doing it yeah and i I'm, and in hindsight i should have i should have really gone for my masters because that what that would have done was was let them extend that contract period with the with the with the casino. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm I'm sure they'd still bring you back there because you haven't <laughs> lost anything. <laughs> Your yeah, voice is going anywhere. Know, so I'm sure you can make that deal again with them. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah man. Yeah. Oh my god. So, so then like you said you were you're drawing so your paintings were exhibited in Las Vegas and then you continued to also have them exhibited in Jamaica as well. Yes, um when I left Vegas and um I went back to Jamaica um I I I did exhibitions. I I also toured. I did I did a couple of touring situations with the the, the um as as a part of a a a, a team that oh. represented Jamaica overall um i uh, i did a couple of uh, exhibitions like in in texas mm -hmm. in houston they had they had um annual annual um ex expo or um festival yeah. that included art and um i i went there as an artist not an entertainer yeah uh, to show off my pieces so and then you also uh, I, it's under your own brand visual and performance or you call it vip vip yes and um yes. I, i now have VIP. another one like called it. double exposure okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> vip <laughs> you yeah, get vip so, treatment <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that. Yes, <laughs> for real. That's so indeed. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh! Just wanted to just wanted to stop and um just mention, you know, I I, I couldn't do this interview without mentioning the, the passing of our beloved uh, entertainer Toots Hibbert. You know, yeah. trust me, I I really feel feel it. You know, I mean, uh, I know we all have to go, but when it happens, it's really it's it, it's really touching um i i feel very it's very surreal right now cuz um yes. i i Big can't loss. believe he he's passed on Big you know? loss it's it's so um, i want to i want to send condolences to his family and his fans and friends Yes, I was I I I apologize too for not saying that first because I actually mm -hmm. yesterday I was on the phone with uh, an hour with Carl Harvey as guitar player and today as well I was on the phone with him and he's definitely having him on the show in the coming weeks to talk mm -hmm. about puts and his um 
just his relationship with Toot. So big loss yeah, to our industry. God rest his heart and our condolences too to his entire family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Gone too soon. Too many of them. Trust me, man. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Trust me. Too too many of them. Yeah. yeah. So we have to pay respect and respect due always mm -hmm. to them. Let them know what they've done before they left us. Let let us let us try and do that. For real. For real. You know? For real. Yes. For real. So mm. you you've gone on to okay, again, you're born in, in Montego Bay. In 1998, mm. I mean, 1980, we're going to take it back now. You won a competition mm. and you toured Germany. Mm -hmm. tell, us about, tell us about that. The tourist, Jamaica Tourist Board. Yes, they had, um, they, they, they had a, uh, uh, it, it was a partnership between a, a, a company called Courting Electronics. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they, they had a competition in Montego Bay, and the the winner would would tour Germany for about two months. Wow. And I was I was the winner. It it uh, just so happened, and um, because I, I I don't normally compete. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I was but, gonna say you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally compete, but this was one of the the few things that I um the few events that I competed and I I was I was the winner and I I ended up touring the um I toured Germany with with Boris Gardner and the happening the band nice. and um it was a great experience that was my um one of my uh what I I I've never, I've never toured Germany before, so it was a, a new experience for me. Nice. And and it and it was, um, we we ended up going to Dusseldorf, Cologne, Frankfurt, Berlin, I think, oh. and um, some some other city. And I, I think we we perform in Italy as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Um, like you say, you don't go in competitions. I mean, <laughs> when you have it, you just have it, right? So your works, your works have gone into movies as well. Like Love yes. People, Club Paradise. Like talk about, that was featured in Robin Williams. Talk about some of the your works that's gone into the movies out there. Mm, well, um, the song Love People was written by myself and Ibu Cooper of Third World. And okay. um, I, I, I guess we'll touch on that later on, but yeah, but, you know, I'm just I'm just showing the the evidence of of the the, the working relationship I had with with the, the members of Third World from that from those yes. days way back. And um, right, so um, uh, Ibu was able to to broker a deal with um, a band called Blue Rhythm. Band. Okay. And they were the ones who um, who recorded the song "Love People," and that version was was in the movie Club Paradise, starring Robin Williams and Peter yeah. O'Toole, Jimmy Cliff, and um, you know, the, uh, uh, I'm still getting royalties from that song, from that movie. So, you know, know. give thanks to Ibu. <laughs> yes. um, it was also. Um, um, there was also a song that called "All Fall Down" that I that I recorded, written by Peter Ashbourne and and um, and Alvin Campbell, um, and um, that was in the movie "The Howling" Part Three. Okay. So you know that was a a, a great experience. Um, I wrote a song called "Nowhere Like Jamaica," and that was featured on a couple of travel. Um, travel channels um, so you know the, the the whole the whole um, experience of songs in movies is 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 um is 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 um is really nice to to know that things are happening like that yeah um, it's still happening now we will we'll talk about that as yeah well. and the royalties you know? are coming so of course that's nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, should I say trickling in? <laughs> yeah, trickling. But it, uh, trickling is better than nothing, right? 
ventricle. Let them tickle. It's okay. Yeah, let it trickle in. Yeah. <laughs> And it's like everything you do, there's there's something behind it because you also did all kind of people, the album commemorating 50 years of Jamaica independence as well. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. And um, you know, that that album that album is um is still still sought after. And um it's it's a, a, a song that it's an album that that has like um lots of good songs on it where you know, people can enjoy. And mm -hmm. and voice of love, talk about that one. Now, voice of love is um is a a cover, a cover album of a, a collection of classical songs. Um, <laughs> I I am um, fell in love with a song called "Time to Say Goodbye." Mm -hmm. you know, um, Conte Partiro, and um, I um. I decided to put it in my my repertoire, mm -hmm. and um, what, when I when I um I, I did it and uh, I did it for when I was doing my annual AJ Brown Fashion Follies production, I I, I um, decided to include the song, and at the time, three three prominent and three prominent musician entertainers and uh, um, uh, the, the governor general of Jamaica, Florizel Glasspool, um, died within a week of each other. Nice. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm talking about um, Frankie Bonito and, and Michael, Michael, um, I, can't forget, I can't remember his last name. He, he used to perform with Chalice uh, I think is Michael Aiken. Uh, I'm not sure if, about his last name, but yeah. But he he uh, he was he was um he was he was um he was killed, you know by you know like a you know just just drive by, you know. Wow. And um, Frankie Bonito also died that same week. And so did um, the Governor General. So I, I decided to do that song, you know, to, to um, in condolence and to, you know, to, to just share with the audience. And yeah. um, from that time, that song was just magical for me. Um, yeah. I, I was. Um, it was so good that um, Daphne Chinloy, the, um, the the wife of of um, a well-known record producer, uh, decided that she wanted me to do a collection of classical songs. Okay. And um, and I, I actually we did it we did it in Toronto at, at Cherry Cherry Beach Recording okay. Studio. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I, it was it was a great experience. Um, the song, the the album was um, executive produ produced by by um, by um, oh my God, what's his name? Um, okay, I know. I can't remember what happened last <laughs> week. So I, I'm, I'm I, I I commend you for remember all these names mm -hmm. going yeah, down he's... memory lane. <laughs> yeah, his name his name will get will come back to me. But um, yeah. but I I did I did that album um as a um commission album, yeah. and um and it's been it's 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 been one of my my um my best selling albums based on you know how the 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 industry went. Mm -hmm. So you know it's um it it's. It's still still sought after, and um, I'm gonna have to talk to Daphne about about reissuing that album. You know? Yeah, that would be yeah, that would be really nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, the, you also lend your voice to commercials, Coca Cola, Red Stripe, beer. Yes. Um. <laughs> while while I was while I was in Jamaica, you know, in the eighties, I. I used to do a lot of commercials with with Pete, Peter Ashburn because Peter 
Peter was one um, one of the the number one choice. He, he was like the number one choice for doing um, commercials in Jamaica. Yeah. And he used to he used to call me all the time to to do commercials for HTB Bun, um, um, Grace Ketchup. Did you get um, Did you get free bun? You get free bun. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a commercial for free bun. For free, for free bun, <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to stay away from bun. I need to stop. <laughs> I know it's 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 the it's it's you know, we we're Jamaicans. We can't we can't, it's we can't stay away from bun and cheese. <laughs> but um, uh, um, Red Stripe was uh, a sponsor of my annual um, AJ Brown Fashion Follies, and okay. I was I was um. I was lucky enough to to um be to to be offered um a a a, ch a, a chance to sing one of their commercials and you know you know how it is with them when whenever they they um w w whenever you you do a commercial for a company like that it runs for for oh yeah years it, it runs for years yeah so you know mm -hmm. it's um, a good thing yep yeah. So, and, and Coca-Cola in, in Jamaica as well. Yeah. You have, you have your own label, Brown Cat Records, but you don't just put out on your own label. You also work with a lot of other labels and well-known producers. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, I just want to say some people that you work with. You work with Penthouse Records, Harmony House Records, Pot of Gold Records, and you've recorded mm -hmm. with Richie Stevens, Barris Hammond, Inner Circle Band, yeah, um, you collaborated with um, Cleavy Brownie, Bobby Digital Dixon, <laughs> Barry O'Hara, yeah. Computer Paul, Mikey <laughs> Bennett, Daddy B, Singing Melody. I could go on and on and on and on, but I'm going to stick a pin and I yeah. have because he's well missed. I need to ask you what it was like working with Bobby Digital Dixon. Wow, wow. Um, first of all, I have to give thanks to, to my virgin um, Benji. Myers, yes, for for um for being the the catalyst, being the, the the person that introduced me to to Bobby, and um it was while he himself was doing um a song called Time, okay, and um you know that's how I I got um while well, I I got the the rhythm to to um to write songs you know that, that 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 was the first set of rhythms that i got from um from from bobby and um i i wrote that song on my way you know you know from my, on my way to different hotels in mm -hmm. um in uh, on on the coast in jamaica and uh, and uh, recorded it with him and and the good thing i uh, what i liked about bobby was that he he was not a he was not a singer who had a a studio yeah. you know he was just he was just a producer you yeah. know he was not a producer who was a singer he was a producer yeah. so he didn't waste no time with with um with the production once it once it was done yeah he 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 sent it out yeah. and um and um, you know, Father Friend is one of my biggest hits right now. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm you still... know, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've gotten so many stories about that song. Um, yeah, you know, helping helping people to to find closure, mm -hmm. to find um, to to find a sense of purpose. Um, you know, I I I remember uh uh. uh an entertainment coordinator in Jamaica, she said, you know, I I was I was um considering, you know, suicide. Mm. And and that song brought me back. You know? Wow. So so that that was a, a test that was just a testament of of the strength and the of power music. of music. Mm -hmm. It's so true. It's so true. Mm -hmm. That's you're speaking really? about. Yeah, we're speaking about um, Bobby Digital. I had to say Bobby because he's well missed. He's another one gone. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, so man, I miss him bad. Yes, him bad. Oh, and, and, um, he was a big part and, of my career as well. Miss him. Yeah? Yeah, oh, yes. Yes, he wrote, I don't know if you know, but he gave me my big tune, Love Thing, on the Real Rock Rhythm. Yes, that, whoa. I, yes, yeah. and that was in 93. <laughs> he worked on my album, Music Is My Life, and he recorded the track I dedicated to my father named Daddy. You see it, you see yes. it. Yes, and, and Bobby and Daddy, March 11th, they both share the same birthday. Wow, wow. So there's a see? very closeness there, you know, and a lot of mm -hmm. things that I hold dear to my heart when it comes to Bobby. So anytime I can speak about him on this show and yeah, I get to talk to the artists that got to work with him, I mm. like you to have the opportunity to say your piece about what it was like working with him as well. Yeah, man, for real. Um, it, it, it was always... It was always a, a pleasure just driving over there and getting rhythms and, yeah. um, it, you know, and just being able to, you know, prepare my thing, go up, record and, you know, and just hear it on the radio. Um, yeah. one, one of the other songs was um, for me was um, um, Words of Wisdom, um, right. another song called Reggae Music, um, you know, so it's. It's uh, it's it's been a great experience. It it was a great yeah. experience recording with him. Yeah, I find that he, yeah. like I was saying before, he he gave a lot of artists their signature songs that's still strong today. Yep, yep. They really, really put real. a lot of artists on the map that have those st those power staying songs. You know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So yeah, yeah we're, for real. We're, we're talking about um, you working with. I ran down the list of who you record it with, but is there anybody that um, you've liked to work with that you haven't worked with producer wise or even artist wise? Well, um, I, I remember when I just started to work with Penthouse that uh, Buju Bantan was, um, was working just with him as well. And I met, yeah. I met him, I met him a couple of times and he said, he said, you know, you know, I work with Diana Bergen. Yeah. yeah. But, we just never got a chance to do so. So, you know, yeah. hopefully, hopefully now that, um, you know, we, uh, the, the, we, hopefully the, the, the time might be right to, to do it now. Yeah. Um, the, the other thing was um, when I was working with Penthouse, it just so happened that when I started working with Penthouse, that was the same time I got the break to go to, to Las Vegas. So I had to cut my, my association, my partnership with 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 Donovan Germain, yeah, and um, and I went to Vegas. So it would be good to, you know, um, re reconnect with him and see what what happens. Oh, that would be nice. I mean, I everything I get from Penthouse, I play. They put out nothing but hits, you know. Yeah, so I, I, would love, I would absolutely love to see you guys collaborate again. For real, for real. I for think real, that would be real. really, really great. Mm -hmm. um, not only have you worked with a lot of artists in the studio, recording with a lot of greats, and um, you also shared the stage with a lot of great artists. Now, this one yep. I have to run down. This is like, wow. I mean, we're going to talk more <laughs> about performance-wise about one time I saw you perform, but I'm going to leave that for a little later. You've shared the stage with Celine Dion, Dion Warwick, Regina Bell, The Manhattan's Percy Sledge, Evelyn Champagne King, Shaggy Diana King, Denise Williams, you sang a duet on uh, Sunsplash, Reggae Sunsplash with her. Yeah. And uh, like, wow. It's, it's funny, out of these two artists on here, I did cover songs of. I did um, Evelyn Champagne King's Love Come Down and I did Let the Music Play, Denise Williams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, as I'm reading this, I'm like, yes, you yeah, know, so what was that like? I mean, it's always good to have it like on your bio that you work with these mm -hmm. people. But honestly, those are mm -hmm. names. But AJ, your talent is like, whoa, you know, you open your mouth and it's just like, to me, that you're them. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. I mean, but for you, I know you're so humble. I mean, going amongst them on the stage it means a lot to you as well. So how was yeah, that? Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, um while I was while I was performing on the coast and you know my at, at, at that time um my career in Jamaica was was solidified. I was I was doing performances with with any big acts that came to Jamaica 
and um, Evelyn Evelyn Champagne King was one of them, and um, it, you know we did a, a, a couple of performances in Kingston and in Mobay, I think, and um, you know it was it was a great experience, you know, to to share the stage with with her, um, and um, same thing with with Denise Williams, you know I. I mean, people, people come to me, you know, come up to me and say they remember that time when I, I sang Too Much Too Little Too Late yeah. with her um, in, in Mobe, you know, my hometown yeah. uh, at Reggae Sound Splash, you know, just after my own performance. So it was, it was a, a, a great experience with, with, um, for, um, with her. Um, yeah. You know, the, the, the rest, wow. All the other acts that, that that I've performed with have been always uh, um, I'm I'm just a starstruck, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, just knowing that I'm sharing the stage with them. But yeah. but you know, it's it's um it's always good to know that that has happened for me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and you came to Toronto, I have to say this, and I was blessed to chair the stage with you. So I feel honored. I feel yeah. honored. So thank you. Yes. Same yes. here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your lights down low, Cornwall College. That is good. Yeah, time, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> yes. But yeah, man. So um You've been on many shows. We're gonna run down those quick because we want to get into other things. I can't believe we already 20 minutes left. The time is going so fast. Really? Oh yes, my I'm telling you. <laughs> you've been yeah. on Rebel Salute. You know, you've been on more than once. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. You've been more than once, exactly. So we're gonna yeah. run down. You've been on so many. Jamaica yeah. Jazz and Blues Festival, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You cannot be down there and not be doing that one for sure with your for vocal. real, for real. For you know, real. layers of soul, reggae sum fest, uh, Western Consciousness Festival, twenty five years celebration. Mm -hmm. You did that as well, and yeah, and um, you did Richie Stevens. That was nice. Take me away mm -hmm. concert. Yes, mm -hmm. sharing the stage, of course, with your friends Maxi Priest, Wayne Wonder, Freddie McGregor, John Holt, Ernie Wranglin, and yeah. more. You know, and I, I don't want to leave out because I got to say my favorite songs. We got to talk about, again, some of your singles. Mm. Um, Lonely For You. Okay. <laughs> yes, that, that is a that, very that, special that song. song. Is, well, <laughs> Thank and, you. And let, me, let me ask you a question. The one that you have on The Real Rock, is it called Real Rock or is it called another name? Um, no, it's called Real Rock. Okay, real rock. I play that all the time, but it's on the real rock and it said real rock. So I said, all this time I'm playing this, I hope I'm calling it the right name and I can just label it because it's the real rock or anything. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, it, 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 the song is called Real Rock and it, it just so happened that it's, the rhythm is called Real Rock as well. But, yeah. um, but, but it, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that, that, um, that, may, that may have been another... Um, was that Bobby too? I, 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 if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it's another wow. digital Oh, because I'm listening because my um, love thing is on the real rock as well. And I did it with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, I, I was always wondering that. I'm thinking because so many people put the real rock right about. Oh, not oh, oh, you know, oh, you know what? You know what? Um, no, it's, um, it, else? May, it, it may be while I was doing something with Bob, Bobby, Barry O'Hare. Barry O'Hare. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. So that one was Bobby's? Barry. Ba oh, Barry, Barry. sorry. I think it was Barry's yeah. rhythm. Barry's rhythm, yeah. Okay, sorry yeah. about that. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. So those are my but, but, songs. But, um, but I was able to... um, Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was going to say another song yeah. is Any Love, the one you did with Tati P. I just... I'm running down the ones I play on my radio show. I just... You know me. You know my style, what I okay. like. Okay, so thank like you. I'm like hooked on those ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's one of those, it's one of those songs. That, that, well, any love is like, uh, it's beautiful. Um, very special song because because it, you know, uh, when when Taddy, when, when Taddy P, called me, 
you know, got in touch with me and said, listen, I have a tune I want you to sing for me, you know. You yeah. Know? Those and guys I, always and I, they know what's the right thing. They get the, pick the right song. I'm you telling know? you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he has a way to do his research and, and come yeah. up with a good combination, a good, good um, chemistry. And um, he... You know, he um he said I want you to do any love by um, Luther Vandross on this rhythm, and I said, oh, hey yo, I'm there, just set it up, and um, yeah. you know, right now any any love is 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 another of one of those royalty trickles. <laughs> <laughs> Come down, that that's when you that's when you call yeah. Daddy. Have a next cover you want me to do. <laughs> <laughs> No. As a matter of fact, I just called him. I just <laughs> called him today, and I said, yeah. "Listen, I have a, I have a, I have two tunes. I'm not gonna call the names right now, but yeah. you know, we have to do, we have to do one. We, we have, we have to do one." I, I gave him the title of the song, and he said, "Oh, you mean this one by that person?" He said, "He said, well, now we're gonna have to do two. <laughs> so, so, so we, so you can look forward." We can yeah. look forward to to me doing. Um, you, you're gonna hear um, songs with the same name, different rhythm. <laughs> All right, there we go. But um, before I, I I forget, <laughs> what is your current singles right now out? Well, the the most recent is a song called um, "Ja Will Always Be There," yeah. and and that's the one that you use to um, on the post to, to PR this. Yeah, this interview. Um, it, it's an original song. Um, the rhythm was created by Glenn Brownie. Ah, the, big the, up the, Glenn the, Brownie. Brownie family. Glenn. <laughs> yeah, tell him, on, my virgin. Yeah, so good. Been years and years and years now. I knew him when he had when he had black hair. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go back and tag him on that. I didn't know yeah. that he did that song. Uh, yeah, I knew. <laughs> I, I knew Glenn before he had black hair and he was a Rastafarian. So, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, the Brownie so family. That goes back a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I called them the Michael um, Jackson family of reggae. <laughs> for real, for real, for real, for real. Yeah, for real. Jackson family. Then, then there's, um, then there's um, Dreams of Me, which I did, I did um, on the Skylarkin rhythm. Yeah. And that was with his brother, Cleve, Cleve Brownie. Ah, um, nice. So, mm -hmm. And um, so th those are the most recent. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at other other songs, uh, communication, um, um, making love together. That, that's been um, recorded by different producers as a, um, through, through my, my journey. So, okay. Um, the, the making love together was was um, done in partnership with singing melody. Um, nice. Yeah. So it's 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 been great vibe, great vibe. Nice. I mm -hmm. want you to do me a favor and shout out all your social media where people can find you. Well, um, I just wanted to to say to all my fans and friends and family, you know, just check me out uh, on, on Facebook at um, AJ Brown fan page, um, Instagram at AJ Boots Brown, and um, you know, with, with Facebook I have two different um, Facebook, so um, AJ Brown, you don't know, you can find me. Find me. See AJ Brown. So yeah. now we get into 2012 and Third World Band <clears throat> invites you to tour with them in Poland, Germany, Belgium, France, and Spain to help celebrate the 40th year of, mm -hmm. of um, their reggae ambassador, right? So- Yes, you, yes, like that, was say, in, that was in 20, 20, 2013. Yeah, so you're saying you were just basically invited at that time. Correct. Yes. Was yes it, at that time, um, you, at weren't, the time at that, um, you weren't like solid in there yet. At that time, when when you did that. No, the 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 first time I was invited was in 2012. Yeah. Um, to do a couple of performances in in America, um, 
in um, in Atlanta um, to open the the new um, performing arts theater in um, at, at um, University Atlant of Atlanta, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. And um, also a performance in California, and um, it was a great experience, very eclectic, uh, very surrealistic for me. But um, you know, I, I I just regarded it as an invitation. We did it, yeah. and I went yeah. back to my 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 career on the coast and uh, my my other my other performances. So um, so now comes 20, 2013, and they they call me back again, you know, yeah, and say you know listen we have a big tour coming up and. Um, and it's it's of it's a European tour and um you know we'd sure love if you could if you could come and, and do the honors. And um and I say yeah hey you know um I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm um I'm a gun made for hire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're ready, you're ready. <laughs> yeah, so so, um, I no thought, problem. Honest, I thought such a good fit when I saw you perform with them. I said, what a fit there, you know? Yeah, most people, most people say it, that they, yeah. they couldn't think of anybody else that would, yeah. would have done justice. And, um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that as we go along, but, yeah. but, um, the, um, the, the whole tour situation was, it was, it, it wasn't new, but you know, with third world, it was different. You yeah, know? it was. It was um, because they, they were on a different level, um, higher level, and um, and I, I was able to 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 pull it off, you know, because um, when I when I did the first performance in Poland, yeah, it was. It was in front of almost a million people, and you know, it was like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I felt to... like I felt like I was thrown in the deep end of the pool, but <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to because I don't remember where it was. I just saw the video, and I wasn't sure where it was taped. But that video of you singing mm -hmm. um, Andre Pacelli's song, and mm -hmm. you you it, you got emotional. I. I'm gonna be honest. I cried when I saw you you sing Thank that, you. And, and, it, and I know, looking at you, and I do know you that it was emotional. You were emotional because of you've you've worked so long in this industry, and to mm -hmm. look out there and see that crowd and they're singing back and they were just embracing you. I know why those those emotions took you over. Where was oh, that, yes. How did um, that feel? <laughs> wow, um, I, I've al I've always wondered why why um. Why Michael Jackson cries sometimes when he performs? Yeah, and and now I know because um, when you when you're on stage and you're sharing, mm -hmm. um, your yourself, it's it's almost like you're an open book. Yeah, and um, and you know, it's it's singing is is like um, singing is one of those things that you you have to have emotion. You 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 can't yeah. just sing. Yeah. You know, some people, you, you, I, I just can't sing like, yeah, it, it, it has to come from somewhere that, that, um, that is, that has that emotion and has that passion. And, and so, um, you know, I always leave it, leave everything on the stage. Yeah. It was time, beautiful. You know, so, so that's the, that's the, that's what is happening now. Um, yeah. The, um, working with Third World and going out and doing doing those performances at that level is you know is um, is is really um, satisfying. It's really yeah. satisfying. After all mm -hmm. these years, and of course we have to say rest in peace to the great Bunny Rugs, the late great Bunny Rugs. February second, two thousand and fourteen, he passed away. You know, mm. and of course, AJ Brown here stepped in as lead vocalist of Third World Band. And now you've guys gone on working with them, doing Under the Magic 
Sun and more works mm-hmm. to be done, the two albums. Under the mm-hmm. Magic Sun, was that the one nominated for the Grammy? No. Um, well, under, the under the Magic Sun, Under the Magic Sun was a was a a a, a a commission, a commission album. Okay. It was a commission album. It was commissioned by uh, a company out of LA that that were that were into um, um, placing songs in movies, and okay. um, they got in touch with the band to to sing to for us to to choose cover songs that we that that we liked or we. Oh, okay. Loved. Okay. And um, whatever whatever is on the album are songs that that were that that were chosen by the the, um, the founders, Kat and Richie. Yeah, and, big um, up Kat and Richie. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, and, um, we gotta big up there. Yes, I know Maurice Gregory is no longer there, but big up Maurice Gregory Norris. Yeah, man, big up Maurice from Bridges. Norris Webb yeah. and Eruption, and of yes, course, yes, respect uh, to management Heather. Hi, everybody. For real, for real, for real. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, 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 um, so that particular album was, um, I ended up, um, that was the first set of songs that that was the first time of, I really recorded with the band. Yeah. And um, that was a great experience. Um, I ended up doing seven, seven songs, six or nice. seven songs, um, <clears throat> nice. of the album, and shared the album with Bunny. Um, and uh, you know, I, I I feel like that album was like the passing on of the baton. Yeah. So so um so I I really feel like like um. I, I was accepted uh, with um, as the lead singer, yeah. And and um, you know, it was a seamless transition, yeah. which is yeah. which is what I liked about it. the The album "More Works to Be Done" um, is is an album now that was um, is produced by Damian Jr. Gang Marley. And, and that was the one. That was the one that was okay. that was nominated for the Grammy okay. Awards. That's a, I don't know why. Just because you guys are promoting it now, I thought it was more after. I know it was there, but I don't know why I thought the other one was the Grammy nominated one. But this mm-hmm. one is like because you guys have a current song out now from that with Pressure Bus Pipe, correct? Yes. Um. Well. Uh, yes. That's 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 the the latest one that's that's being PR. Um. <laughs> called people of a different color um it's uh we we we, we have a, a lyric video out and it's really really cool you know the way how it it um the 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 depiction of different races colors creed um religions you know mm-hmm. the way how they were depicted on the lyric video is, is really is really cool um, yeah. And I, I encourage everybody to go out and get that album because um, it's, we'll get it. That's it's, more it's work. Collector's to, Ivory. Yeah, more works to be done, and our time has come to the end. When I, I told you an hour flies. Wow. <laughs> once again, <laughs> give them your give them your Instagram just before we get off here. Once again. Yeah, it's AJ Boots Brown. Just um, vibe me there. I'm on Facebook. Uh, um, on AJ Brown fan page. Um, so. Come see me. <laughs> yes, of course. And of course, we can't leave out to get all the brand new works at Third World Band. Thank you, AJ, no, no, no. so much for being on the show. I really appreciate you. Appreciate, love you. Always respect. You know that. Okay. You and um, love to you too, Tanya. You don't know you're my sister in different ways. Music, yes. Connor College. And you yes, understand? <laughs> so, yes. Yes. So it was a great vibe. Thanks for inviting me. And um, I, 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 I hope to get the recording so I can uh, cherish this. Okay. Yes, you will. You'll <laughs> be getting it very soon. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> this show can also be heard on the Barnburner Radio Network on its 122 platforms. Please check out barnburner.ca for all the news. Barnburner, watch it, hear it, read it, download it, live it. It's the Tanya Mulling Show here. Catch you same time, same place next week. Good evening, everybody. Take care. Bye.